talked about Kanye pissing on the Grammys and you know pretty much denouncing the Grammys and a lot of the OGs denouncing the Grammys. Um, but it was coming from a place where he was nominated, you know, six or seven times, and he actually was happy about it. And he's like, uh, you know, some of the sometimes the Grammys might be bigger to other people than it is to y'all, even though y'all shitting on it. I'm a young dude, I'm coming up in the game. I don't know what your gripes have been. I don't know, you know, what y'all been through in terms of the Grammy. So makes pe- it, it gives off the perception that all the stuff that he's worked towards to get to the Grammys really shouldn't be celebrated because people like Kanye are sitting on the Grammys. And, you know, it, it wasn't too long, but he went off for a couple of minutes and he was just giving his opinion. Like the OGs got to step aside sometimes, you know, and, and, you know, let these young boys do what they do in relation to the Grammys. Like, you know, and some of that probably was, with that, was coming though, from him. This, huh? was, this is the thing with that. Um, sure he realizes this too but at one point in time the OGs cared about the Grammys I don't a lot of people already know uh, Kanye's West his gripe was receiving a Grammy and then once he finally got his Grammy uh, mm-hmm. he made times like Grammy family blah 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 and he decided to dis- disrespect the Grammys um, I think and we've talked about this in the years past as far as being a musician of course you want a Grammy what I'm saying once you get one, I mean, you've reached your pinnacle, you've you've a- achieved a lifetime or a lifelong goal. Like, for example, Tierra Thomas from Indianapolis, Indiana, recently she got her first Grammy this past uh Grammy Awards. She said, mm-hmm. This is what I work for the whole time I've been doing this music business thing. So, I think it's a, a part of uh, once you reach that threshold. Mm-hmm. You become kind of bougie to the notion of Grammys, especially once you receive one. That's what I think it boils down to. I don't. I don't think it. Bo- it. I don't think they're saying that they don't want the Grammys. I think once they get it, it kind of like ah fuck a Grammy. After that, well, I don't well, know. that's kind of lame in itself. Jump well, in there, Lone. What, what do you think about? Mm-hmm. What do you think about the uh, that approach for what Roddy's saying? Do you, do you uh, feel I mean, where he's I, coming I, from or? Yeah, I, can, I mean, I can appreciate it. I mean, if your goal has always been to be, you know, to to have a Grammy and, you know, or, you know, if, if your experiences with it is good, then, you know, I, I get that. Um, I mean, I, and, and back to, to Terry's point, like, I don't I don't actually agree with that, to be honest. Like, I, I, I personally feel like if your threshold of success is the Grammys, then that's cool. But like, uh, I mean, getting a Grammy, being awarded one, is cool, but mm-hmm. like gauging your success and like that's not that's not uh, necessarily what I'm saying. That's that's not necessarily but, what I'm saying, but it's part of what I'm saying. Yeah, and that part yeah, of finish, it, all, finish the all, point, all of that part of it, I don't agree with. Um, that side mm-hmm. of it, just because, uh, I mean, from the stance of maybe the people that have gotten it, um maybe they turn their nose up to it now that they've reached it they've reached it i i can see that but at the same time mm. um i don't know man i don't know if that's really like a lifelong goal for a lot of people you know like goal meaning like i have to get a grammy otherwise it's i'm you know like that's my pinnacle of success you know as far as that's concerned because the way that I even view it is just it's so separate from the musicality and everything that's going on. You know, like it's it's really a numbers game. I know we talked about this in the past, but it's it's really a numbers game more than anything. And I don't know, man. I, I don't Are you- I personally don't don't feel that from a from a musical standpoint. It'd be cool to win a Grammy, but that's it. Like that's where it stops. You know what I mean? Like Terry, you you wanted to uh, respond to that as well about you know what you said earlier. Basically, so I'm not saying that that's your main goal is to win a Grammy, but as a musician, that is definitely something that you wouldn't mind having on your resume, and it shines on your resume as well. And if but, you were in a position that, to be invited to and win a Grammy, pretty sure you're not going to turn down that that invitation. I don't know. I mean, I guess I just don't, I, I just don't uh, relate to the argument anymore. And maybe I would have in the past a little bit, but 
I don't really see a ton of merit. Like, I feel like if you're in the position to win a Grammy, at that point, a Grammy probably doesn't matter as much anymore <clears throat> because your career is already doing what it needs to be doing. So, I don't know, man. Like, if somebody said, hey, you're up for a Grammy off some something I win, yeah, it, it's a cool accolade. Like, I, I, I'll agree with that it's a cool accolade, but I, I think that's where it stops, in oh, my opinion. For me me personally from a music stand from a music standpoint from a production standpoint um i understand for example what jay moore was talking about earlier you know with the culture and how things are perceived and how things are represented i'm i believe that shit 100 percent. i'm with you there 100 percent. we've had this conversation in the past as you all have alluded to um but in terms of the actual grammy itself like that is something that i thought about when I first started to make music, I used to talk to my mama about, man, what are these days we're going to go to the Grammys? When I'm going to take you to the Grammys. Like this was something that I thought about when I first started making music, that type of stuff. I'm not saying it was the end all be all, but you know, if, if I was blessed to get a Grammy nomination, shit, I'm going to be excited. I'm just being honest. I'm going to be very excited if I was, if I was to get a Grammy nomination, something that I worked on or something that I was a part of, whether be. it be album, film, Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I would be at that's I guess it's kind of, I guess it's kind of a weird spot because you say on one hand you see how they be on the bullshit with the you know not showing the hip hop and the this and that. And I get that, I understand that, but I would be lying to myself if I didn't if I didn't if I said I wouldn't be excited if I got a Grammy nomination. That's just me keeping it a buck. I think um, my excitement throughout the years has decreased more and more the more that I realize that um the Grammys is a TV show, not an actual award show. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's not. It's it's like it, maybe early on, but even so, I don't I don't have the same story as you, Mike. I never had these grandiose idea of like, uh, yeah. cool, I, I want to win a Grammy. Like I never really cared, but it's but I did but I did but I do think it's a cool thing to win. But the more and more time passes, and the more that the more I do, and the more I release, and all this other stuff, like. Again, it's a cool mm -hmm. accolade, you know, it means that somebody is paying attention to you. So, you know, to Terry's point and to your point on that, like, I agree. Like, I think it's a cool accolade, but the merit of it is like, if, if I want it down to you now, if, if we're going to criticize it in one sentence, we can't give it the same type of accolades no. in the next. And I just, I can't, that's fair. I don't know. That's fair. So... Look, you like that's what I was mentioned. That's what I was speaking to when you know I kind of came off like I was a little torn because of what you just said. Because everything we've talked about is a fair assessment, hey, you know. But I, like I said, I would be lying, you know, if if I got one and you know, and I I would just be mad excited about it. I just I keep it a buck. I'll be honest. But I, I you know I've always I, yeah, it, and it's dope. Are different. It's cool. You know, and it's dope. Cool. No, and it's dope. It, regardless, it's dope when when people that we know get nominated for cool shit like that. You know, it's like, all right, cool. It just means they're paying attention to it. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you got but, a Grammy, I'd be I'd be hype. And sharing you'd probably be shit. more hype than me. Like Remember, it, I know that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I definitely but, would be more hype than you would. <laughs> well, you know, and it, <laughs> no. And I know this, and, and this is going to get some folks mad, but I, you know, the folks will get mad. It's all right. That's what we do. They'll be all right. Watch or listen to our show. But It'll be all right. the fact that the Grammys has found a way <clears throat> to give album of the year to Taylor Swift three times. Don't, and I think she makes good music, sometimes Talk great music. But for <laughs> you to say this is album of the faster. year three times, that she got album of the year again. I'm like, come Excellent. on. Like, wow. we, she, I don't, I think, like, you know, when you think about who's never even won it once, that's what really blow. like, that's what blows your mind about giving it to her three times. And the thing is, I think she is exceptionally talented. But to, like, mm -hmm. I, you know, she, Prince never won album of the year once. And Taylor Swift has three yeah. album of the years. Three. It's yeah. hard for me to deal yeah. with that. <clears throat> You know, but you know, once again, we Respect see that we we see we, we know who votes. You know, people with who got kids who probably listen to Taylor Swift all the time, and <clears throat> you know, the, I'm not surprised. You know, and and then when it's not Taylor Swift, you know, it's Adele who once again I think is exceptionally talented. Um, 
But, you know, if, if she, whenever Adele puts out another album, I guarantee you it's going to be nominated for album of the year. Because once again, people have shitty taste in music. So when they can point to something, it's like, but I like this. So if I like this, my taste in music can't be that bad. But, you know, those same people who love Adele would never, li- you know, if I yeah. say, hey, do, do you uh, do you like Marsha Ambrosius? And they'd be like, I don't even know who that is. I'd be like, who is that? You know, and and I from, mean, the, from the who she's patterning her whole career off of. You know, talk think to about him. Us, talk yeah. to we him. Were, so we were, when we were alive when when uh, Michael Jackson was winning every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? So I can attest that there was a point in time where the person that was winning was the one that was supposed to be winning. Yeah, the yeah. Outcast I mean, won album of the year. These are I accolades below. These are accolades for the record industry. So I'm not going to act like, you know, Michael Jackson sold all them records. He should have won all those awards. You know what I'm saying? Because and and it was and Thriller was an incredible album. It was a the genre defining. Just to have album. cold music with it. But you know, sometimes when you look at the people, it's like sometimes they're like, okay, we're going to now. I think their category. We're going to give them a. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Billie Eilish is now in that category. They're going to give her the award. Uh, at one point, she's about, when to, M- she about to hit a lick over the next few at, years. At one point, when Eminem, he, it didn't matter what he put out, he was going to run rap album of the year. Um, it doesn't matter what um, Adele puts out, she's going to win album of the year. And it's like, okay, we'll we'll nominate certain artists. Okay, I'll just say it. we'll nominate Beyonce. And like I said, I think it's great that she has twenty eight you know, Grammys or whatever, and she Tough. broke this record, but Tough. almost all of them are in the R&B category. And I think that's fine because you know what? She's dominated that genre of music, but she's dominated pop music over the last 20 years as well. You know, and it's great. She has 28 yeah, she Grammys. Actually, she's dominated. She, it's great. Buck, she, has, she actually dominated pop more than she dominated, dominated R&B. If we yeah, want so it's, it's great. That there Beyonce, we go. It's great that Beyonce has 28 Grammys, but you know, when she should, when she probably deserves thirty-five, there's still an issue there. You know, hey, you, at, you, at the you, end you, of the what, day, what, really, go ahead, Long. The, Gra- the Grammys okay, is Long. just an industry circle jerk, man. The end. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he he made a good yeah, point with uh, right. what you call it about Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, and also about uh. The Elis, she about to come up in the next few years. Like I, I want to start it's watching just, the count because she about she's she about to be next, quote unquote. It's, she on yeah, deck. Taylor Swift, watch, Adele, Billy Eilish, uh, Billy Eilish. It's just Billie they Eilish. just recycle different, uh, you know, white women with different types of music backgrounds, and that's who's the main the mainstay is Amy Winehouse. Percent, like you know, because the same thing with when Amy Winehouse. I love her. She was dope. Yeah, she was dope. But she was you dope. know what? The same people who would who go on about Amy Winehouse didn't know anything about Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Right. You know what's crazy, so, man? Like the the cra- rest of piece of craziest Jones. thing I've heard. Craziest thing I've heard is, and I didn't even realize this until Jay Moore just said it, and it it kind of <laughs> I poured a little more water on my uh on my Grammy my Grammy speech because. Taylor Swift got three albums of the year. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Yo, yeah, now, now people think about that, why, man. Why Kanye was so pissed off? Man, it makes me it makes me sit back and think after hearing that. Like, yo, that's a good point, man. She got three albums of the year. Word. But Kanye's mad like after know, the man. fact too, though. Like Kanye's thing is a little different. Like he's hating after. Well, he's Kanye's born also one. mentally ill, and I'm not saying I that. Is that too? Yeah, yeah. that's but, true. I, I, you know, Openly bipolar. That's facts. Go ahead, Long. No, I, I'm just, you know, it's it's like we're trying so hard to give merit to the yeah. Grammys. We're trying, we're like giving them yeah. like constantly. I'm not even talking about us. I mean, just in general, like m- mm-hmm. music lovers are trying so hard to, you know, like you guys can figure it out, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a you know, it's yeah, an award I mean, show, that's, man. That's just because that's where they set the bar. Just like an, an athlete, even though you make it to the NBA, you would love to go to the Olympics as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And same yeah. thing with uh, other sports that are playing in the Olympics. It's just a, a bar that's set for you to get to a certain level. It's kind of a goal to reach. Now, Isaiah it Thomas still mad about the Olympics. To a lot of music. Exactly. It may not be that important to a lot of musicians, but it is something nice to have and, and to show off and have it on your resume. But sure. yeah, uh, Taylor Swift winning an album of the year three times. 
the crock of shit. We all know that Macklemore winning hip hop album of the year against Kendrick Lamar. That was some Good bullshit. Mad City was total. That was some bullshit. And they but you know what? what and, hey, and make that hey, shit right. But you know what the thing is with that? Kendrick Lamar is now in that category. If he if he puts out an album, you know, in a, in a few months, it's a it's a wrap for anybody else in that category. They're going to give him like because they're going to try to they're still trying to make up. For so man, he, making Macklemore oh, album, correct. he won for. Uh, he's won. He's won every alone. Grammy. He's been not. He's won every Grammy. He's been nominated for since. Up since mm-hmm. loan that, that loan that might be an emote man overcorrection <laughs> that might be an emote man it's uh, um, well f- specifically nah. for the Grammys that's what they do every year <laughs> you know I think they did the best thing ever in a long time this year but still oh, no. Tyler, you know. Tyler the Creator won a Grammy well, they, last year yeah oh, and yeah. he criticized it I'm still. not mad at that. You know, because still I'm not mad at it either. Yeah. yeah, I'm not mad at that. He he's dope, and you know everything that we're hitting on is is facts. Like loan, I, I think um, on a, a part of my the, the appeal of it also is you know kind of like they were talking about with the uh, you know the mantelpiece situations. Like oh man, I come over Mike's house, mom's house, and he got a Grammy up on. You know what I mean? Like that I mean, type of stuff. Look, probably if you really want one, well. I can get I can get I can get one made for you if it really means that much to you. <laughs> Like, yo, it. and drinking when we all get you together. Know. Yeah, right. I'm with that. Yeah, loan. If you make me one, man, I'll I'll display that mug with lights and uh, I'll have it rotating and shit. So, that's, just that's tell me what up. you want to. Just tell you. me what you want to win it for. You know, which which uh, piece of music you, you've done. You know what? Me knowing you as long as you, you being my brother, and me knowing you as long as I have. Part of me wants to just let you engrave it, but I'm still kind of scared because I don't know what I would get. So mm. I, I'm 50-50 on that. I kind of want you just to freestyle it and come up with whatever you come up with. And who I'm going to give what the it. Hell I win you, for. You're going to win the win the Grammy for oh, uh shit. I for, have said that. for uh what baby you know way 280. <laughs> <laughs> No, they don't know nothing about that, man. With the harmony, classical composition, (laughs) right? What baby? Gospel, right? Gospel, yeah, yeah. If you've enjoyed this segment of the New Old Heads podcast, make sure to join our live show every Tuesday from nine to eleven p.m. Eastern on Twitch.tv/slash New Old Heads, and we invite you to join our hip hop community on Discord. Access it by going to NewOldHeads.com/slash community for talks on hip hop, sports, music, news, and everything else.